I'm Ashley. This is Dorian. Hello. And today we're going to talk about three boots every man should own for the fall and winter season. Not even every man. You. <laughs> you should own these. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> for shoe options for the fall and winter, I would say boots are definitely something you want to have yep. in your closet. But I will oh. say, I want to just say something okay. before we get into yes. it. Look. Boots are an investment, okay? Cheap boots are cheap boots and they're not gonna last you very long. I've fallen trapped you to really, this. I've fallen into this trap. You really wanna save up and try to get the best boots possible. Invest in your boots because they will last you for years and years and years. Yep. Um, so I highly recommend that you only consider, if you can, really well made, boots that are gonna be, I mean, unfortunately on the pricier side. All right, now let's get into it. The first type of boots you should own, Ash as well, and I think you might know this, are the desert and or chukka boots. Yes, the soles are different on them, but they're basically the same thing, right Ash? Yeah, so yeah. we're just gonna lump this yeah. all into one category. They're the same type of silhouette for the most part, yeah. yeah. But I would say desert boots, chukka boots are the most versatile uh, boot out of all the boots out there because you can pretty much wear them year round. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend them for the summertime if it's really hot, yeah. but you can wear them for three out of the four seasons at mm -hmm. the very least. And they're super easy to um, wear with casual outfits, but also to dress them up with like a trouser and a sweater and dress shirt. Um, now, as far as colors go, I always love a good dark chalk, chocolate tea uh, brown color versus a lighter tan or even medium brown. Dark chocolate just looks really sleek. Um, and it, it just, it's able to transition easily from day to night. So I recommend that. You can also go with black if you wear a lot of grays um, in your wardrobe, grays and blacks and, and even navies in your wardrobe. But dark brown are gonna be your most used uh, color, I yep. would say. I have very strong opinions about shoes and especially about boots. So check out the ones that are my absolute favorite, the ones that I put on my clients. Tried all the time. and tested yep. for years and years yep. and years and years and years and we're not and paid to say any of that. Yep, in the description <laughs> below. <laughs> all right, Ash, so let's move on to the next one. And the next boot a uh, man, you, should consider uh, is called like a work boot, but it's kind of also like you call them, I think, casual boots. There is yeah. no like definitive name for them, but Ash, describe to the audience, describe to them exactly what they should be looking for in these boots and why. Yeah, so these kinds of boots, they have a chunkier, um, more casual sole to them. So it's like a rubber sole because obviously it's a more, I would say hardworking boots. So this is your, this is the boot you're gonna wear every day with your casual outfits. So be it jeans, chinos, with a wool trousers. Wool, um, if you want to go for a little more totally, of that look, yeah. yeah, you could totally wear it with wool trousers if you just want to throw on like a sweatshirt with it, you know, to dress it down. But I would say they really stand out when you wear them with uh, chinos um, and jeans. Um, and they're just like a really good everyday boot. This is the boot that you probably think of when you're thinking of boots. Yep. It's a good work slash casual boot. Um, there are a lot of different styles out there, a lot of really crappy ones. Um, and so I have all my favorite ones uh, listed below because you have to pay attention to the silhouette because even though there is that chunky sole, you, there's a certain silhouette that you want to look for. You don't want it to be so chunky like on the toe. You don't want like a big bulbous toe box. Yes, yeah. and you don't want the even the sole to be super, super, super chunky because it can be kind of extreme. Um, so there's a fine balance of how you know, how the silhouette and the overall construction of the boot should be. So as far as colors though, what should they be looking for? Yeah, so for colors, I always love, again, like the Chukka boot, a good dark brown, even a medium brown is great. Um, you can definitely go with a lighter brown, but it doesn't look as streamlined, but it still does, it, it doesn't look bad with your jeans as well. So, uh, you know, you could go with a range of brown. I think uh, the next boot looks a little better in a lighter brown. 
Yeah. Correct. Yeah. The next boot we'll talk about. So hold on, hold that hold that thought for a second. But yes. Uh, and then and then burgundy is really good. When once like you're an, more advanced on your style journey, you can add like a good like, like Bordeaux oxblood ox blood, um, color. And then I mean and then you can there, I mean you could start to explore a little bit more in the color down the color journey with a charcoal color or a um, dark dark navy color. Um, I would say perhaps black might be included in the work boots. Black would <laughs> definitely be included. How did I forget about I that? I don't know. And then Ash, before we move on to the next boot actually, uh, cap toe versus non-cap toe, what's your preference? Why, why not? Honestly, it doesn't even matter. You can go with a cap toe if you like that look, or you can go with a plain toe. Doesn't matter when it comes to a casual boot. And Ash, the next pair of boots that they should own, but actually before we do that, I think we should talk about the ones that are excluded because I'm sure they'll come up. Oh, I see, I thought you were gonna say, oh, it's time to give this video a <laughs> no. thumbs up. Well, you can do that. <laughs> okay, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe <laughs> to our channel and hit that bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video. Totally forgot about that, okay. but anyways. But before so we get into the final boot. Before we get into the final own. boot, every you should own. Um, they're gonna ask about Chelsea boots, and I want you to tell the audience why you don't specifically recommend them for the fall and winter months. Chelsea boots, to me, are more of a spring-summer item and maybe early fall, but that's it. They're pretty delicate, and also the look of them doesn't match the heavier weight clothes you'll be wearing in the fall and winter months. So the goal with your outfits is to make sure everything you're wearing complements each other, including the weight of the clothes. The goal is if you're wearing heavier clothes, which you are during the fall and winter, then you want a heavier duty boot. So you want something that's a little, feels a little meaty. And looks, so, looks a little and, meaty. Yeah, and looks yeah. meaty. So that's why we're leaving Chelsea boots off yeah. the list. The final pair of boots that a man should own I think it also depends on his style, whether he leans a little more casual or a little more dressy. So maybe he doesn't need these exactly, but they are a dress boot. And first, talk about the difference between a work boot slash casual boot and a dress boot so the audience knows real quick. So the dress boot, you, what you wanna consider is to only do a plain toe. I don't like, um, I I'm not really that big of a fan of a cap toe dress boot. Is it too much going on? It just looks more casual. Now okay. you just made it look like more of a casual boot. But they're still made out of leather. It almost has an overall similar appearance to um, dress boots and casual boots. But the sole, so the casual boot is going to have a rubber, chunkier sole. And Goodyear welted. Yep, Goodyear welted. And a dress boot will not have that. So if you are a man, though, that really just wears casual clothes on an everyday basis, you don't need this shoe, you don't need a dress shoe. You can- uh, Maybe a boot? A dress boot, <laughs> excuse me, a dress boot. You can easily use your Oxford dress shoes with your suits or with your more formal outfits. Cause you're not um, gonna be trudging through the snow in them. No, Hopefully not. But, but also you're not, you're not wearing, uh, boots are expensive. And so unless you're gonna be wearing them, you know, often during, fall and winter, you don't need to get them. It's not necessary. So what should they look for in a dress boot if they are in the market yes. for one? So a dress boot, you want to get it in a, you can do a nice tan color, medium brown, dark brown, also black. I mean, black is always going to be great, especially paired with a heavier charcoal suit. That's going to look absolutely beautiful, but you're usually going to wear your dress boots either with your suits or with a trouser, like a, um, a beautiful trouser and a sport coat kind of situation, or like, you know, a leather bomber jacket, but more dressed up looks you're going to wear your dress boots with. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Check the links in the description below. We've done other videos about boots as well, so if this one didn't scratch your itch, these other ones definitely will. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.